This is an LED panel. More specifically, this is the Blizzard Lighting Iris R3 panel. Now, all these different panels, they all look a little bit different and they all have different layouts, but essentially they work the same way. Some panels have extra features over others, and the R3 is a great representation of a full featured panel at an affordable price. That's the reason I chose it for this video. As you research different LED panels, take a look and see what features you know you're going to need and what features you're going to want to grow into over time. Let's go ahead and take a look at the panel. We'll dissect it, see what's on the inside and the outside so you can understand a lot of these terms. Seeing how these panels are put together is going to help you be a better LED video wall tech. Let's get started. When you were a kid and you had a CRT TV, did you ever take a magnifying glass to it and see all the tiny little pixels? That's essentially how these LED walls work. Well, that's pretty much how every video screen works. But on an LED wall, these pixels are a little bit more obvious. And that's because these pixels are not as close together as they would be in a traditional LCD monitor. That is why it's really important to understand the pitch difference between various screens. The Iris R3 features a 3.9 millimeter pixel pitch. So what this means is that each individual pixel is 3.9 millimeters away. Some screens are closer together, some are further apart. So it's really important to understand the pixel pitch and how far away the screen is going to be. Notice this black grid that's around the LEDs. That grid is removable. So if God forbid you break something, you can quickly swap it out. And speaking of breaking things, LED video walls are fragile and sometimes LEDs can burn out or be knocked out of place. And if that happens, you don't have to send the entire panel back. Many panels, such as the Iris R3 from Blizzard, have four individual quadrants and they're held together with magnets. Just pop it off, put a new one in, and then you can ship that quadrant in to be repaired. That's why it's very important to make sure you have spare parts of everything as you can always fix things on the fly. As we get ready to open this up so you can see inside, take note that a properly made panel like the Iris R3 is designed that almost everything can be swapped out on the fly. This means that if you have enough spare parts and something does happen, you're able to fix it right then and there with very little fuss. So on one side, we've got EtherCon in and out, which is basically a Cat 6 with a metal surround to protect that fragile tab. And then on the other side, we do have PowerCon in and out. Most of the higher quality panels out there have some sort of test function. This way you can check all the LEDs without having to plug them into the control system. So let's go ahead and flip these tabs open and open her up. On the left hand side, we have a self-contained power supply. And on top of what's called the LED PCB hub is this. This is the receiving card. Basically, it's the motherboard of the actual LED wall. So in the Nova software, you're gonna see where it says send to card, receive from card. That's this guy right here. This is the brains, the brawn, everything. Now look how Blizzard assembled this panel. Every single one of these cables can be swapped out. All the parts can be swapped out. So again, if something does fail on you or breaks or whatever happens, you can quickly swap it on the fly. You don't need to send this entire unit back. You can just send the faulty unit back. That's why it's so important that you understand how everything inside here works. So that's the inside of an LED panel in a nutshell. Now that you understand a little bit of the basics of how all of this is put together, let's talk real quick about LEDs. Now in the next video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the brightness, how that's calculated, how the contrast ratio is calculated, as well as the difference between black face and black body LEDs. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them below and make sure to subscribe. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.